After that intro, you must have a lot of questions. Like, why do I have my surfboard at a lake that's nowhere near the ocean? And what's this weird dome thing that you and Gabs are living in? And then, what on earth am I tattooing on my wife? I'll start off at the beginning. I have my surfboard here because I'm waiting for a permit from the government, which will allow me to surf amongst other things. When recording this, I was convinced I'd get the permit in time, but it still hasn't come through, so I guess it's cook time on the lake for me until the next vlog. It's freezing cold, far away from the ocean. If you watched our last vlog, you would have seen... <laughs> like conducting it with your hand. If you watched our last vlog, you would have... I can't help it, that's what I do with my hands. Hold it down. Okay. If you watched my last vlog, you would have seen that we were staying at a house on the beach, which was awesome, but we had to move out of there. <laughs> Firstly, it was in a place called Misty Cliffs, so it was really misty. That doesn't sound like, that doesn't sound bad, but the sun only rose there at like one o'clock in the afternoon, so it was really cold. And it was torture not being able to surf, being so close to the waves, and I was driving Gabs mad. <laughs> so we decided it would be best to do a trip inland, away from the ocean. That's why we're here. That's what takes me to the next point. The dome. The dome. And to take you through how rad this place really is, I'm gonna get a much better, more attractive, just all around more awesome guide, Gabs. Come. Are you sure I look fine? You look amazing. Come on in. <laughs> just to make sure that Gabs isn't accidentally filmed naked since she's always walking around in the nude. I, I can't figure it out. I've made these censored signs that'll save me tons of time in post. <laughs> Ooh, jeez. Now what? The tour. Okay. This is the entrance. The open air kitchen. The office, or what Dan likes to call his studio with a view. This is the best bath I've ever sat in. My favorite reflection spot. Dan's favorite reflection spot. Alternative reflection spot. Nature on our doorstep. Can you hear the birdie? The braai. <laughs> <laughs> Shower with a view. Show the view. Gabs didn't want to do this one, but there is a toilet, in case you were wondering. There it is. Welcome to our dome. Oh, bed. Don't do it like that. <laughs> That's... No. Just say, our bed. <laughs> <laughs> our bed. This is supposed to be the lounge, but as always, Dan's turned it into a big mess. And lastly, the hammock. That was awesome. Usually I'm not too big on drone shots, but this place is one of those special places that you actually need to show where it is with a drone. But I don't have a drone because if you watch the last vlog, you'll see that my drone landed at the bottom of the ocean. However, I do have a plan. Baby, you're supposed to say. What's the plan? No. What? You always have a plan. Yeah. <laughs> you always have a plan. That's right, I do. Why is this thing so pup now? Pup is a South African term that means flat. It's also a delicious traditional dish that's served with burgers. My plan was simple. To take a lilo, 10 PVC pipes and connectors, a GoPro, duct tape and a wetsuit. Connect all the pipes, attach the GoPro to the top and then head out to mimic a drone shot. but I quickly realized that my plan had failed horribly. And I couldn't get it stable or nearly high enough. <laughs> so the next day I hiked a nearby mountain with my zoom lens to showcase just how secluded we are. It's time for a tattoo story where this week I'm gonna tell you the pretty sweet story about how and why I got this pineapple tattoo. But before I tell you, Gabs has always wanted one, so I'm gonna tattoo her first. We have finally reached the point in our relationship where she clearly trusts me enough to hand poke it on her. What are you gonna do?
done. What? Yeah. <laughs> it's done. Gab's handled that like a champ. It's not easy to get a tattoo here. This is probably the hardest <laughs> place. That took much longer than I thought. So, the meaning behind the pineapple. Okay, so the story goes like this. I just dropped out of film school hungry for a project with grit. I was really into channels like Vice at the time. I then met this girl in Amsterdam, a great script writer. And together we decided to embark on making a film based on a true story. A story about drug trafficking. Back in South Africa, I befriended a man who would traffic large amounts of narcotics across the borders from Peru back into South Africa. I ended up learning a lot of nuances from him and weirdly enough started to befriend him. There was something about him I understood. Anyways, he owned a non-operational tattoo parlor as a front to launder money out of. And one night after interviewing him in the parlor, I saw this poster on his wall that said, be like a pineapple, stand tall, be proud, wear a crown. And even if you're a bit of a prick on the outside, remain sweet on the inside, always. It made so much sense to me right then and there not to judge a book by its cover, especially because I think I'm a bit of a prick on the outside when I'm socially anxious, but really when on the inside, I'm pretty sweet, I think. So then we called in some guy to tattoo it on me at like 3 a.m. that morning. I just wanna say obviously I don't condone laundering money or drug smuggling. Just as a raw filmmaker and scriptwriter, I remain open to really try and understand all different kinds of people. But in saying this, it doesn't mean that it's right or morally correct. I then took a walk down to the pier and reminisced about the days that I could surf. Okay, I have to share this with you. <laughs> Look at what Gabs is doing. This is why I love this woman. She is bathing and brying <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> I'm just gonna jump in the bath and then let's sign this vlog out. I just have one last thing to say. This video is not sponsored at all, but I am working together with an organization called Africa Masks for All, where the goal is to get really good masks to the people that either can't afford them or can't get access to them. Gabs and I have already donated to the organization and it would be amazing if you could too. If you want any more information about it, I'll put it as the top link in my description and go and check it out. It'll all be in there. Other than that, don't forget. You're awesome, Brew, and I'll see you next week. I bet we are all sinners, sinners. And yet we are all winners in our dreams. Until the winners come. Yeah, at last, all just beginners get to see.